Well, maybe you're sitting at your Google search console and you're really wondering like, how do I optimize? How do I SEO, search engine optimization? What can I do? And I'm gonna show you how to use Google Sheets in order to optimize your SEO or search engine. So we're gonna export, we're gonna go to Google Sheets and I'm gonna open a brand new Google Sheet from this export. It's gonna do it automatically here in a second. Now, what I have here are queries. On the second page, I have pages. And what I'm looking for are unoptimized things. So all of these ones that have high clicks, high impressions, and the position is like, okay, right? Each of these can be fixed. Anything between one and 10 is probably okay. 10 to say 20 is probably, and then anything from 20 to 50 is also probably highly optimizable. But I want to make sure that I have enough juice, meaning is there enough juice? If I squeeze, will we get something good? So what I'm going to do is try to filter this page, Oops. try to filter this page for the things that I want. And what I can do is I can go here and I can say, okay, definitely a yes. If the position is something like 10 to 12, actually let's do five, five to 20. And we're going to go if logical expression. This is greater than five. I'm going to wrap this with and. I want to be able to see this better. And. E2 is less than 21. Okay. And if it's true, I'm going to say yes there. And so we get some falses. Let's actually add, if it's false, just a little blank. So these are all yes. But that's not the only thing. I want to make sure that I have actually one click. So at least one click. Clicks. Yay. Uh, equals. If logical expression is this is over zero. And if it's true, I'm like, yes. If not, I want nothing. All right, we got a bunch of clicks. And of course, everything down here is we got zero clicks here. That's okay. We don't need any of these. We can actually look through these at some other time and be like, okay, these pages are cool. Maybe a position that has 622 impressions. Yeah, I can definitely optimize that. But I want to see things that have at least one click. So cool. We got those impressions. Let's look at this. Uh, what we can sort of figure out, this is a very crude work here, but we can say potential impressions. What we can do is take this impressions that we're already getting and say, we want to increase it. We want to see what, what would we get if we were in position one? So a crude way to do that is to take the existing impressions, actually, let's say equal this. Take the existing impressions we're getting, divide it by one divided by the position. And that's a very crude way of doing it, but we get a really interesting potential here, right? And they're ranked differently than if we were just looking at these impressions straight up. And so what we want to see here is anything where yes is both here. Let's look at that and let's say we're going to filter. So we want A through H of pages equals filter A through H pages, A colon H. Condition is this equals yes. And clicks equals yes. And so we get all those. Cool. And now we can sort by, I'm going to say sort by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Num column eight. Do we want it ascending? We want it descending. So we want this to be false. And there we go. So these are pages that are within five to 20. We're definitely optimizable. And this gives me a really good shot of like, hey, I can go to this. I can work on it. I can see now. I can take this and go back to my SEO search console. So I go to the page and we're just going to look at one page and I can see what queries are we already ranking for, right? That's cool right there. We're already ranking for those. We can see position as well. Let's see if we have any full positions. Ooh. Paul and number one. That's awesome. Here's number four for Gushi true false formula. Anything outside of four or five count if here true false Google Sheets. We might be able to add this true false Google Sheets to the dis to the keywords or maybe add it to the text in a little bit to sort of bump it up in the top five. Because this looks like a really great. We're already getting a lot of impressions for it at the seventh position. So if we moved up, we'd get way more. Look for low positions, maybe even, yeah, 1931 count if formula. So maybe add a little, what we can do is add a little section to that blog post about the count if formula and how it, how it works with this uh, page. And so this is something that I would do in SEO, but using Google Sheets and a few little formulas just to look at 
the pages that definitely could be optimized, the pages that might be optimized. And we're using Google Search Console, which is totally free and available. Google Sheets, totally free and available, especially if you have Google Workspace and just a few filters, just using sort and filter here and a couple of ifs and a little bit of math, we find some really great potential and can work through instead of having to like just search through this list and be like, okay, let's go down one by one. We have a nice little filter here. Wow, over a hundred pages we can definitely do something on and, and optimize for. Really cool.